Today I've got a super easy peach cobbler recipe that I want to share with you. I made this in a recent video and everyone wanted to know what the recipe was. I was excited when I stumbled across this recipe online because if you've been on the channel you know that we pretty much exclusively cook with cast iron for the uh, pans that we use on the stovetop. I definitely heard of people using cast iron for cobblers before but I had never tried it myself so I was excited to try this and see what it was like and it turned out super good it was super easy and because of cooking it in the cast iron it put a super nice crust on the cobbler so I'm really excited to share this recipe with you. This weekend, my husband Austin is actually visiting his parents, so I am staying here with mine. So I'm gonna be making this in my mom's kitchen, and then I'm gonna make my mom and my dad and my sister taste test it. First, let's go over the ingredients, and then I will show you how to make it. We've got a cast iron skillet back here. This is a 12 inch. There's lots of cobbler recipes out there that call for a 10 inch or a nine inch, but this recipe calls for a 12 inch. I've got a half a cup of butter, and then we've got our peaches. The recipe calls for a 16 ounce can of peaches. I've actually got two cans in there. It just depends on how much peaches you actually want in your cobbler. I've got a cup of sugar, three fourths a cup of all purpose flour. We've got two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of salt, and three fourths a cup of milk. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut the butter into the skillet and put the skillet into the oven. This butter's been setting out for a little while, which is nice. It's soft and easy to cut. You could put the whole stick in there. I just cut it up into pieces because I think it helps it go quicker. Just kind of spread it around. And this will go in the oven just until that's melted. While the butter's melting, we're basically gonna combine all the other ingredients except the peaches. So there's the sugar, the flour, baking powder, cinnamon, salt that doesn't want to come out, <laughs> and the milk. If you have one of these Pyrex, big measuring cups that have the spout on them it's nice to mix in one of these because then when you go to pour this batter it's got the spout and it's much easier the butter is now fully melted and then you just pour the batter on the top i try to spread it out evenly because with cobbler recipes you don't stir and the next step is just to layer the peaches on top i like to do that with a pair of tongs it's a little bit time consuming, but no matter how much you drain these peaches, the water always settles to the bottom. And if you just dump them over the top, you're gonna to get a lot of juice in there with it. So I like to do it with a pair of tongs. And just spread them all out. These are little chunks of peaches because the store did not have peach halves, at least in the brain that I was wanting to buy. So I just got these little chunks. And now we're just going to put this in the oven and it will bake for about an hour. Of course, just keep an eye on it. Everyone's ovens are different. So while the cobbler is making, I'm going to make up some homemade whipped cream real quick to go with it. I'm making homemade whipped cream super easy. It's just a cup of whipping cream. Two tablespoons of sugar. And a teaspoon or so of vanilla. And I'm going to use a hand mixer and then you just whip it until it's a nice and thick consistency. And there we go, homemade whipped cream for our peach cobbler. So it's finally cooled down enough for us to be able to try it and we've got our whipped cream out and I think we're all pretty excited. Mm -hmm. I think Katie said she's going to save her, her helping for later. For later. <laughs> Give me something to look forward yeah. to. Yeah, do you want to get a spoon? Yeah. That's good. There you go. Okay, there we go. That'll work. Should have used a spoon for this. Wow. <laughs> Looks delicious. 
It looks good. It smells good too. It's tasty. Mmm. Very good. Oh, yeah. I did taste test just a little bit of the whipped cream and it was really good. <laughs> Pretty good. The cast iron really puts a crust on it. And that's my favorite part, it's the crusty part. Yeah. yeah. I think so. It's my favorite part. I'll be looking forward to eating some later. Yeah. Words of Andy Red Teeth. Mmm, that's some more kind of good. <laughs> that's what he says. Mmm. It's so good. So I'm going to leave the link to the recipe in the description. I'll just go ahead and type the recipe out. It's really good. You have to drop me a comment and let me know if you make it. As always, thank you for watching. God bless you. God keep you. And we'll see you all on the next one. Now we're going to eat this whole thing. <laughs> just going to pick up the pan and walk off with it. Save it for later. It's really good. Today I've got a super easy peach cobbler. One more time. Let me try that again. <sighs> okay. Today I've got a super easy. It's just like the more too many false starts and you just completely get thrown off. <laughs> Ain't no sunshine when you're gone. <laughs> just depends on how many, just depends on how much pizzas you want in your actual. <laughs> okay. I'm not okay. listening to that. Work for flour? <laughs> That's not real. I'm so funny. I'm sifted, sure. sifted. That's why a lot of people sift their flour. But... Let's get the air out. Want to lick one? <laughs> if I have to. <laughs>